Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today for this weekly ticket. Um, we're going to talk about understanding the child's feelings. This is really important as a parent. Sometimes it's really hard to navigate their feelings just like it is for ourselves. Um, that's a good thing to talk about for sure. We'll talk about common feelings for our children. We often find it easy uh, to be with our children when they're happy, laughing, content, um, or being quiet. However, we know that our children can experience unpleasant feelings that sometimes leave us unsure on what to do. Uh, babies are not born knowing how to control, or control their feelings um, or how to calm down and that our children learn from us. Sometimes it takes time to figure out what your baby is trying to tell you. And it may take some practice to figure out what their needs are. And it takes a while to figure out those cues. It's perfectly normal. A loving relationship with your baby is the best way to teach uh, your child how to deal with difficult feelings. I'm going to talk about some common, um, common unpleasant feelings. So just like us, um, our children feel the same emotions that we do, uh, just as intense. Um, so starting with like anger, uh, anger like uh, temper tantrums and stuff like that, that we see most commonly going into kind of like toddlerhood. Um, the best thing that we can do is to stay calm and be attentive. And that's the most important thing that we can do. Um, you could help your child by calming down, by providing words to help them understand their feelings. And I suggest to do this as soon as possible, even when they're babies. Um, it's important uh, to give time in instead of time out um, or quiet time. And even though it's hard, uh, we suggest to be consistent. So do not give in to demand. So if your child is dealing with fear and worry, that's perfectly normal as well. Your child can be afraid of uh, things like the dark, uh, monsters, uh, when you're dealing with a, a big imagination, um, or new situations just like us. We're not big fans of uh, new things as well sometimes. It's important to accept your child's fears um, and, and name them. Uh, do not tease or get angry. Uh, these are real feelings for your child. Um, but uh, it's important to keep calm and just reassure them that you are there for them um, because you are their safe haven, you're their safe place. And if they are scared or worried, you're their safe place, right? And try to get them to talk about what is bothering them because the more that you try and get them to talk about it, the more that you're going to understand um, why they're having such big uh, feelings of fear. If your child is sad, uh, talk to your child about why they are sad. Give your child a little bit more attention. I mean, when we're sad, you know, like just to have somebody by our side, um, give them a cuddle and help them feel comforted. Jealousy is a common one as well, perfectly normal, especially once again, when we're kind of learning to share with new friends. So sharing toys um, is definitely hard for our children um, or even sharing, um, sharing our time. Uh, so if somebody's sharing, uh, sharing your attention, so like your partner, if you're talking on the phone, um, just calmly talk to your child and let them know and understand their feelings. Have your child do something close to you um, and just problem solve that way. Let them know that you will do something with them soon and just reassure them and try to make them feel comforted in the best way that you can. So how do you feel when your child gets upset? When your child expresses strong feelings, um, sometimes you might um, feel frustrated, get angry, uh, feel upset. Um, Sometimes it's just hard and we lose patience. Um, we tend to feel, especially with babies, that we're, we're not at the point of, um, they're not able to communicate with words like as they get older. So we can't help but kind of feel helpless and unsure on what to do. 
um, feel like that you can't take your child crying or whining anymore. Um, when they're young, uh, this can happen for long periods of time. And it, it's, it's hard. It's so hard and it's so real. Um, and then we tend to feel just that being a parent is hard. It, it stresses us out. Um, sometimes we just feel like that we don't have a handle on it, but it does pass. Sometimes it's hard for, for us as, uh, as parents to just parent our children because we are also carrying around, um, say, like our own baggage from our own growing up. Um, and everybody has it, um, you know, sad or angry feelings from their past. Um, uh, but to, to just be mindful of it and um, to not maybe repeat some things that would be important to you as a parent. Mm -hmm. And if we feel upset, sad, angry a lot of the time, uh, this can be scary for, for our kids and even harmful maybe. And that um, this is the last thing that a parent wants, of course. It doesn't feel good uh, when we are feeling these emotions as well. And children who are frightened by uh, things that their parents say or do, um, they cannot feel safe or count on their parents for protection. And that's what we're there for. And that's what they're trying to find in us. Let's talk about um, five behaviors to avoid when we're feeling these really intense emotions and, um, and when we're feeling that things are really hard to handle. Try to avoid loud or angry voices. Um, kids don't respond very well to them. It frightens them. Um, loud or angry voices upset children and it can um, turn a small problem into a big problem pretty fast. Um, growling, whispering, even in fun. Uh, sometimes it could uh, make a baby confused on how they're feeling about how you're, how you're feeling and can make uh, children feel uh, like danger is coming. So um, try to avoid not comforting an upset child, ignoring your crying child, laughing, teasing, or hushing your baby um, in anger. It, it's, it's not comforting and can make the world feel like a really scary place. Try to avoid getting in your child's way. So interrupting, uh, changing, or uh, pushing play uh, to something you are more interested in or think that is fun. Um, like that I'm going to get you, throwing your baby into the air, excessive tickling, rough housing. Um, but this, that kind of stuff, like as much as like, I think that there's a lot of good intentions behind it. Sometimes it could be a lot for children. So just kind of like being mindful of those cues of if they're not really liking that too much. We're going to try to avoid uh, just not being there for a child. Um, having your own worries, exhausted and unable to be there for your child. If you notice that your mind is wandering when you are with your baby, try to bring your attention back. Try to avoid making your child worry about you. Turning to your child for comfort or advice when something bad happens will make your child feel worried about you. They feel off of those emotions. Um, it's up to, um, it's up to, it's not up to your children to worry about you, uh, about their parents. We all make mistakes. If you get angry or overreact to your child, um, show your child how you deal with your own anger by setting examples and being calm yourself. Um, we can do different kind of like uh, deep breathing and counting to 10. Uh, your child will definitely learn by example. Uh, things to think about before you respond, um, you know, take a breath, put yourself in your child's place. Try to understand your child's behaviors and feelings, why they are being the way that they are.
And most of all, how you respond to your child most of the time is what matters. So if, um, you know, like the, the one time that you feel frustrated, but most of the time you have it pretty together, um, it's how you respond to your child the most is what matters. So no one expects you to be perfect and be able to do things right by your child all the time. Being a parent is a really hard job. So what can we do to make our children feel safe and secure? Respond in ways that show your child that they can depend on you and it will give your baby that simple gift of confidence. And then some, um, you know, small, simple, but big suggestions like paying attention to your child, staying close, making them feel safe, showing empathy, um, uh, and to be self-aware. Don't take uh, things personal. When they're really, really small children, they are learning too, um, and to not take it personally. Stay calm, reassuring our children and just watch, follow, and enjoy with those cues. Thank you so much. Make sure to look in the description down below just for uh, uh, different links of um, things that relate to this topic. Um, and we will talk to you guys soon.